All right, so here we are on our Invaldos Apps dashboard. And from here, we are going to click on Specro by clicking on Access. So this takes us to our site lists. Now, for you, it's going to be empty because you haven't created anything. But I have already created my first deal site here, which goes by the name of my first deal site. So here's what I did to create my first deal site on Specro. Just click on Create New Site. But before it takes you to our site wizard, you're going to see this pop up. A transaction fee of 5% will be levied on every successful order that will be placed on the site. Now, Specro is a marketplace app, right? So this is why 5% uh, fee will be levied on every sale that is made on your Specro site. Okay, so we click on I understand and egg agree and we are taken to the site wizard. Now, if you're an existing Invanto customer watching this, then you know that this is going to be pretty uh, familiar to you because uh, that's how all coach track and membership sites are also made right so for spick road the same method follows you enter a site name here you uh, set up a primary currency and you select any translation that you may have created for for your website like if you don't want to run your deal site in english then you can create a translation in any other language and then select it from here and as soon as you enter a site name here, a site slug will be auto-populated, which will be your default URL, okay? So for my first deal site, this is what I did. My first deal site, uh, the site slug was automatically populated and this became my stores, my Spicro sites default URL, okay? My first deal site dot store dot .com. Right, and then there's a site description that if you enter a site description here, it will show in the footer of your website. Okay, so we click on next and then we are taken to the payment gateway where you enable PayPal and Stripe or either of them uh, as to which, trans uh, which uh, payment gateway you want to use for transactions across your site. Okay, like how people will be paying you for purchasing the deals that you're going to run. Okay. And then when you click on next, you will be taken to step three, which is the review and finish step where every detail that you've entered here, uh, you can just quickly review it and edit anything that you want to change and then click on finish. And then we uh, see that our first site is created. Okay. And this is how my first site was created on Spicro. Now, as soon as you click on finish, you reach here, the sales dashboard for your site. Okay, and now, now that we've created our first site, let's see how it looks like. So you click on the site preview button here, which takes you to your newly freshly created site, which looks like this. Okay, now, yeah, granted, it is empty right now because we haven't really created any deal, but this is the basic theme of how your website is going to look on Spicro. Okay, there are these two default tabs that we've given already, current deals and upcoming deals. So the current deals feature uh, features the deals that you are running on your site currently and the upcoming deals is going to feature the deals that are going to be coming up in the next few days. Okay, now this tab, this particular tab is very, very crucial for lead generation, you know, because this tab comes with a form of its own wherein people can put their email address to stay updated, to stay on top of the deals that you're running on your site. Okay, so a pretty nifty little trick for you to increase your email list, right? And then there is a sign in button where people, uh, when they browse through your website and then they see the, the number of deals that are running on your site and if they happen to just uh, make up their mind about purchasing something, then they just sign in from here, they just sign up and then of course, they are going to sign in and uh, create an account with you on Spicro. Okay, so now this is a very empty site right now. Want to see how a full populated site on, uh, on Spicro looks like. Ta-da! This is how your Spicro site could look like. See, there's a form that I was telling you about. And then there are all these favorite deals. And of course, all your static pages, a good footer, and then the featured deal is right here and see all these categories are made here for the deals, which we will cover later in, uh, in this overview. 
But for now, this is how your site can look like. Pretty, right? Okay, so now coming back to our own backend, what is the next logical step? You've created your own site. Now the next logical step is to start populating your site with deals upon deals, right? So let's check out how you can create your first deal on Spicro.